Moose is very um, anxious around cars, uh, especially meeting other dogs and people. She tends to lunge at them, so it was getting to the stage where I didn't want to walk her. So she's getting better, but she's still a pain with new people. I think it's going to take a while because I think she's... I'm surprised I'm not over there. <laughs> Bikes, runners, children, you name it. <laughs> she doesn't like any of them. So it's just really uh, going out when we're at home or onto the street and trying to get her used to the cars and everything. Um, but it's also teaching her that she doesn't have to protect and worry about us because we're... She's very protective. She can be. I'm, I'm waiting for her to put my lounge window in because she just, she does that at the lounge window when anything's out there. It was recommended to me by a friend 12, 13 years ago. So, and it's always been in the back of my mind that if I ever had another pain in the neck, <laughs> I'd bring them here. So yeah, no, she, I mean, it's really, really good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I think what I might do is I might book her in for the three week stay, just because I think she needs to be immersed in dogs and then, you know, get told off by dogs for doing stupid stuff. She was for a couple of sessions here and to the group class using positive reinforcement, clicker, uh, treats, and step by step I see she is much better. We have a plan for the next eight, nine weeks. So she can be here in October just for a couple of days in boarding and training. It's much better for her if we keep her around dogs, around people, desensitize and expose around people.